Ground View this week is full of top-class action with the semi-finals of the Irish Laurels from Cork. From Shelburne Park, the final of the Ladbrook 600, while Waterford held the Munster Oaks final. Plus, we take a trip to Clonmel to see work in progress. But first, we join Michael Fortune at Harold's Cross. It's night for the jumpers here at Harold's Cross, the final of the bagotracing.com Irish Grand National. It's been a very exciting event, all sorts of upsets. The English Raider Greenacre George has been favoured from the start, hasn't won yet. Could it be tonight on the final? We also have a lot of big personalities here, one particularly, Parik Harrington, the golfer, Ryder Cup hero and winner last week of the Dunhill Lynx Championship. He'll be presenting the trophy, but who will he present the trophy to? Let's have a look at the runners. Well, first we're going to see Trotton won best of the bunch, trained by Johnny Dunahoo from Michael Dunahoo in Wexford. This is son of Tom's the best in Stapler's rhythm. He won his semi-final in fine style. He's ideally drawn the rails. He is fine paced on the back straight, but does need a little bit of luck. In trap two is Lock Honcho, owned and trained by Jack Malloy in Waterford, a son of Top Honcho in Maltese Beauty. This is a powerful greyhound. He's really coming back to form at the moment, and not without a chance, despite his price in the market. He's about a 10 to 1 chance. In trap three, Leitrim Honcho, disputing favouritism with Greenacre George. He's trained by G.J. McKenna. For Mick Parker in England, a son of Top Honcho and Dartfield Lass, he's unbeaten in the stakes so far. He has good early pace, and if coming away from traps, he'll take all the beating. In four, we have Laura Fortune, one of the English contingent, now trained by Francie Murray. For Kevin Gillam in England, a son of Smooth Rummel and Laura Enigma, may move inwards on the race to the corner. Might just give trap number three, Leitrim Honcho, a bit of work to do. Five is England's top hurdler, Greenacre George, trained by Graham Holland for George Aldersley and P. Brebel in England. This, a son of Smooth Rumble and Burn Park Joy, has been noted cutting inwards in the race to the corner. He might get a bit of room this time. He's a powerful runner and he's certainly the one to beat. And trap number six, completing the lineup, another one of the English challengers, Coralish Cruiser, now trained by Johnny Dunhu, a second runner for Johnny. This one owned by the Dave and the Dreamer Syndicate in England, a son of Magnetic Mist and Tally Ho Action. He'll be arriving at the third corner with Real Dash. He's not without a chance, and he's ideally drawn in the stripes. Well, they're the runners for the final of the 2002 BagotRacing.com Irish Grand National. Number five, Greenacre George is the marginal favourite in the market ahead of number three, Leitrim Honcho. But my fancy is number three, Leitrim Honcho. I think if he does come away running, he'll take an awful lot of beating. Well, the last one's in traps now for the BagotRacing.com Irish Grand National for 2002. A wonderful race in store. Trap one is best of the bunch. In two, Lock Honcho. Trap three is Leitrim Honcho. In four, Laura Fortune. Five, Greenacre George the favourite. And trap number six, Coralish Cruiser wearing the stripes. They're up behind traps. The race at the corner, all important. Up front, though, it's number two. Lock Honcho just flew the lids. Number six in four is in second. Laura Fortune back in third, number one. Best of the bunch around the opening corner. Trouble in behind. The favourite's balk. So is number three, Leitrim Honcho. And as Coralish Cruiser out front is number one. Best of the bunch, though. He leads by about length to number four now Laura Fortune who powers up on the outside back in third number three starting to run is Leitrim Honcho but around the final two corners number one best of the bunch now coming up once again to challenge number four Laura Fortune flying on the inside is number three Leitrim Honcho over the final hurdle number one best of the bunch number three Leitrim Honcho up to the line best of the bunch guest there for Johnny Dunhu second is Leitrim Honcho close for third the winning time but it's not just up yet but what a performance from number one best of the bunch well, what an eventful race the BagotRacing.com Irish Grand National Final was. Number one, best of the bunch, getting the better of number three, Leitrim Honcho. Back in third, trap number four, Laura Fortune. The winning time, 29.93. Well, Michael, that was a, a great success yeah, there. Great, great. I was expecting the bottom fella, to, which he was in wars at the first bend. So it was nice to, nice to bring him back and win something with him. You're We're not the luckiest in finals, Michael, you know that. Well, you got it this time. Yeah, we got it this time, You had this yeah. fellow, of course, before he went to England. We had him before he went over to Tommy Foster, yeah. And uh, Tommy says he took well to the hurls over there, so he sent over the two of them. So, naturally, like, I didn't... Uh, the last night, now, I, I was surprised to see him, and I was certainly surprised tonight. I fancied the bottom dog more now, tell you the truth, you know. What type of view had you of the race? Did you think he was up? I did, I was on the line. I stood there with the television crew, so I knew he was up, you know. Well, Padraig, not the usual place to see you on a greyhound track. Yeah, I've been here a bit, actually. Uh, I used to come here as a kid, actually, uh, a few times. It's obviously all changed now. It's spectacular now, actually. The facilities are brilliant. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm the most luckiest punter in the world, but I'm certainly enjoying the night. You didn't manage to back the winner. Certainly not best of the bunch in the final. No, no, not best of the bunch, but uh, I think that was a good one for Bagot Racing, so, uh, no, I'm... I'm 
I think they're making me back the ones they don't want to win. They know you're going to back a loser, yeah. is that yeah, it? I'm the decoy. <laughs> well, you've backed a few winners lately. You've had a great run of luck coming into this. Yeah, I'm on a good run at the moment. You know, I've obviously had the two wins in a row with the Ryder Cup and then the individual one. It all comes at once during the year. It's amazing. I go all year and it's, I'm struggling to win and then all of a sudden I get two in two weeks. Uh, hopefully I'll get another before the end of the year. Some months ago, we paid a visit to Clonmel in County Tipperary, when the Davis Road Group first got the go-ahead for the redevelopment of the Clonmel track. Well, work at the track is progressing nicely. The only setback so far is the shortage of silica sand, but the Davis Road Group are not too worried as the sand is arriving slowly but surely. However, the rest of the work is on target. The stand and the bar have been tidied up while the restaurant at the first bend has been given a facelift. The hair rail is in position and the electrical work is almost complete. Clonmel hopes to open its gates in early December for trialling and racing. We wish them every success. The newest competition on the calendar, the Labrook 600, has proved a real success with punters and bookmakers alike. Tonight, the €20,000 to the winner competition comes to a conclusion, and Tall Chubby wearing the stripes is the warm favourite. Of course, with Heavenly Hero, born a pilot and top of the best in opposition, he's going to need to be on his toes. Let's take a look at the runners. Number one here is Heavenly Hero, the favourite in the first round. Owned by Tony Head, trained by Johnny Donahue, son of Always Good and Mam's Choice, he is a massive chance from trap one. Number two, Duffy's Hurricane, owned by John Duffy, trained by Ronnie McCone, a son of Spiral Nikita and Duffy's Kestrel. Duffy's Hurricane, very much one of the outsiders in the party, but a dog with a, a real power finish. Number three, Barna Pilot, owned by Ruri Dwan, a son of Top Poncho and Barna Best. One of the fastest dogs in training, not too good out of traps, but what pace he has down the back straight. Trap 4, Crossley Lark, owned by Madeleine O'Brien, a daughter of Lark Hill Joe and Crossley Spark. Crossley Lark, an Oaks finalist, brilliant performer, rarely runs a bad one. In Trap 5, Top of the Best, owned by Sandra Raleigh, trained by Fraser Black, son of Top Honcho and Penny's model, ran up the Euro off track 600. A powerful dog, down the back straight and home, has been under veterinary care all week for an elbow injury. Number 6, Paul Chubby, owned by John Guthrie, trained by Francis O'Donnell, the son of Lassa Java and Mount Taylor Madam. He's the favourite, a newcomer to the 600 distance in the first round, who has really thrived since moving up to the long run to the bend. The one to beat. They're all in at this stage for the final of the Ladbrook 600. Winner's prize, €20,000. In trap one, Heavenly Hero, two, Duffy's Hurricane, three, Borna Pilot, four, Crossley Lark, five, top of the best, and in six, we have Tall Chubby. Seven to four, generally at the off. Is a hair behind the traps and away to go. Number four off to a flyer across the dark and Tall Chubby misses it completely. And Borna Pilot races to the front on the way to the bend. It's Borna Pilot clear at the bend from number one, Heavenly Hero in second. It's all over, folks, because Borna Pilot's in front. He's two, two and a half lengths clear down the back straight from number one, Heavenly Hero. Number four, Crusty Lark in third. But it's all over. This dog stays on. It's Borna Pilot being challenged by Heavenly Hero. There's two legs in him as he turns for home. But it's number three, Borna Pilot. He's not going to be beaten. And number four, Crusty Lark might have just got up for second ahead of number one, Heavenly Hero. And Tall Chubby finishes at the absolute rear of the field. The time a brilliant 32-42. The result of the Ladbrook 600, the winner number three, Borna Pilot, owned by Ruri Duan. Second number four, Crossley Lark. And third number one, Heavenly Hero. The time, 32-42. Well, Rory, must be delighted with the victory. Absolutely thrilled, Ian, absolutely thrilled. You know, I was telling people all the time he's a great dog, and I'm just delighted tonight that he's delivered for me. You know, he's, it was a great time as well, you know, 22-42. Talk us through the race, Rory. Well, before the race, the dog has grown up an awful lot for me this week. He matured, and I knew I was confident this week that he was going to trap better than he ever did because he was more rested in the kennel all week. And from what I saw of the race, I, I went to the pickup because I put him in traps. He was, at the, he made the first bend for the first time. And I said to the pies on the middle, I said, this is race is over now because when he gets his head in front, it was not going to catch him. Borna Pilot started the competition as the second favourite and basically remained the same price throughout. Yeah, he did. Um, started as one of the major contenders and uh, ran just below his best performances. Uh, but come the final and come the traps and 
bye bye. Thank you very much. I mean, I don't know when the last time you saw a Borna pilot lead round. The right time, the right trap. Well, no, no better time than a big final. You know, a tremendous performance in 32 42. What a time. What a great run. Join us in part two for the final of the Munster Oaks and the semi finals of the Irish Laurels. These are most certainly exciting times at Kilcoan Park in Waterford. Hot on the heels of some recent impressive redevelopment work, the crowds are out in huge numbers here tonight for our feature race. It's the final of the area to Cork Airport Munster Oaks, and with it, a top prize of €7,500. Dogs are now on parade for our feature race of the evening. In the red jacket, it's Long Valley Dame. This one jointly owned by the Collinses, Dan and Tom, and trained by Paul Hennessy. A daughter of Larkiel Joe and Long Valley Bell, it finished very well in last weekend's semi-final. On now to Confident Chick, owned in County Wexford by Michael Dunahoo. The trainer, Johnny Dunahoo, is also running Heavenly Hero in the Ladbrook 600 at Shelburne Park. Confident Chick won its semi-final in a time of 28.59. This one a daughter of Glide Away, Flash and Anamore Chick. In the white jacket we have Pearl of Wisdom. This one owned and trained by Michael O'Regan and stayed on very well in the semi-final to finish in second place. Pearl of Wisdom is a daughter of Split the Bill and East Park Mist. Next to the picture we have It's Awesome. This one owned and trained in County Wexford by Aidan Roach and is a daughter of Rona Key and Bat Street Linda. This one certainly has plenty of early pace. On now to Cool Honey, a winner of its semi-final in 28.73, owned by the Thirsty Scholar Syndicate in County Tipperary and trained for them by Sean Burke. Cool Honey is a daughter of Mustang Jack and Col Bon. And finally on to Glencora, this one seems to have the perfect draw and also has plenty of early pace. Owned and trained in County Offaly by Liam Curley. Glencora is a daughter of Sparl Lakita and Glyn Lyre. All set now for the final of the 2002 area to Cork Airport Munster Oaks. In one, Long Valley Dame. Two, Confident Chick. In three, Pearl of Wisdom. Four, It's Awesome. In five, Cool Honey. And Glencora runs from box six. The leading contenders here are on the outside, Cool Honey and Glencore. Here comes towards Straps and they're away in this final and out very well, running wide. Glencore now from Cool Honey. Well, there also is Long Valley Dave, but up front it's Glencore now. And she's opened up a gap of maybe four lengths at this early stage. From Long Valley Dave is in second, Pearl of Wisdom is into third. Cool Honey, the well fancied bitch, is way back in the field at the moment. Up front, and it's Glencora going on all the time from Long Valley Dame, who's finishing strongly. And as they're around the final turn and rope towards the finish, it's going to be Glencora, followed home by Long Valley Dame and Pearl of Wisdom. What a truly fantastic win here for Glencora. Second, Long Valley Dame, and third, Pearl of Wisdom. The winning time, a smashing 28 48. Well, Lima. A truly smashing run here tonight. You had to be impressed with the performance of Glencora. Well, uh, thankfully, she did everything right in the night. And she hadn't been breaking well here, but she put it all together right. And we felt that if she once broke, that she'd be very hard to peg back. And, of course, this is her second Oaks of the, the year. That's right. That's right. She's, she's been lucky, but she's been in, I think, about five finals. She's won two. And I suppose to win any final, you need a lot of luck. You know, and it's great to, it's great to win the one here. Really, really to win the one down in, in Kilcoan Park. Is there another Oaks in the cards for Glencore before the year is down? I don't think so, no. There will be next year. Shelburne Park, please God. That's what she'll be heading for. Carraheen Park in Cork was the venue last Saturday for the semi-finals of the Co-op Superstore's Irish Laurels, which attracted a huge turnout and some very exciting racing. First, we'll take a look back at the highlights of the quarterfinals, which were staged earlier in the week. Turning for home, it's Burberry Boy in front, Crafty O'Meara in second, and here comes number six, Confident Choice with a big run to take second. Burberry Boy, the winner there in a fast 28-43. Here comes Annual Award, he's a strong finisher. An Annual Award takes it up now and goes on to win it there from number six, Cool Cruiser. Annual Award winning in 28-56. Number six, Mustang Buster still in command. Kester Lass is closing in second. Anamore Billy in third, coming towards the line. It's Mustang Buster holding on here. Kester Lass and Anamore Billy. 
the time 28.49 from Mustang Buster. Turning for home, it's number six, Barna Dasher. Way out front and clear in this one. Now he's going to take this one with number one, Nod Mac, finishing strongly to take second. And the winner, Barna Dasher there in 28.81. And now Michael takes us through the lineup for the first heat of the semi final. The first semi final in trap one is Mustang Bertie, owned by Patsy Byrne, trained by Stephen Burke, son of Lassa Java and Little Diamond, one of the outsiders, but very well drawn. Number two is Cool Cruiser, owned by Mick O'Donnell, trained by Michael O'Donovan, a son of Spiral Nikita and Calder Gem. Hasn't quite got it right yet at Cork, but this is a dog with brilliant early pace. Number three, Crafty O'Meara, owned and trained by Brian Diffley in Galway, son of Deep Decision and Lockbow Jenny, a sizzling early pace, the likely leader here. Number four is Black Loon Vintage, owned by Magella Coonahan from Tralee, a son of Vintage Prince and Carney's Porter. He has been extremely busy over the last few weeks. Number five, Mustang Buster, dug with brilliant early pace, owned by Patsy Byrne and Sean Burke, trained by Stephen Burke, their second runner in this heat, a son of Frisbee Flashing and Dean View Pearl, the one to beat. And number six, Borna Dasher, owned by Nicholas Budimer and M. Rainbird, trained by Keely McGee, a son of Top Honcho and Borna Best, flew in from England for this race today. And so the hare's on its way for this opening semi-final. In trap one, Mustang Bertie, two, Cool Cruiser. In three, Crafty O'Meara. Four is Black Loon Vintage. Five, Mustang Buster. And in trap six is Borna Dasher, the favourite Mustang Buster. He goes from five, a real track specialist. Flies out normally. Hare coming up behind the boxes, he's out again. Well, number three, Crafty O'Meara out in front, but there goes Mustang Buster. Goes past him into the corner, number five, Mustang Buster. From three, Crafty O'Meara in second. He's a bit swallowed up at this stage, as number two, Cool Cruiser, moves into second. Number one, Mustang Bertie is putting in a run and six Borna Dasher on the outside but Mustang Buster he has raced clear five lengths clear at the third bend from number one Mustang Bertie in second number six Borna Dasher now going second on the outside but it's Buster out front he's going to chalk up another big win here at Cork it's Mustang Buster winning this from Borna Dasher in second and Mustang Bertie in third the result of the first semi-final the winner number five Mustang Buster owned by Patsy Byrne and Sean Burke Second, number six, Borna Dasher. And third, number one, Mustang Bertie. The time, 28.39. Well, the punters got it right in the first semi-final with the favourite Mustang Buster winning. And they're trying to make up their mind about what they'll bet in the second semi. And so to the second semi-final, where in trap one we have annual award, owned by Jerk Kervig, trained by Eddie Wade, son of Smooth Rumble and here Steffi, likely raced, but a class performer. Number two is Nod Mac, owned by Liam Donnelly and MJ Campbell, trained by Paul Hennessy, son of Staplers Joe and Lemon Mustang, another likely race dog but really runs court track very well. Three is Burberry Boy, the dog with the brilliant early pace, owned by Lawrence Blunt and Martin Wakefield, trained by Fraser Black, son of Top Honcho and Faultless Quest, the favourite here. In four we have Kestra Lass, owned by Frank O'Brien daughter of Spiral Nikita and Duffy's Kestro. She's been an outsider in every round, but she's absolutely running brilliantly here. Number five, Confident Choice, the second of the Hennessy runners in this heat, owned by Liz Bodie, a son of Split the Bill and Lovely Disc. Lightly enough raced, but a dog with big pace down the back straight. And in six, we have Anamore Billy, owned by Dennis Buckley, trained by Liam O'Callaghan, son of Split the Bill and Lovely Disc, a real flying machine, but has had an injury problem coming up to this race. So to the second semi-final, the hair's on its way in one annual award, two Nod Mac, three Burberry Boy, four Kester Lass, five Confident Choice, and six Anamore Billy. Anamore Billy, a big drifter from trap six, Burberry Boy, he's the favorite, going from three, normally a flying starter, and away they go. No, he stumbles coming out as number four, Kester Lash, showing in front. But there goes Anamore Billy, surging to the front. Nothing wrong with this fella tonight as he goes clear on the corner. From number five, Confident Choice in second. Number one annual award is in third. But Anamore Billy has gone three clear down the back. From number five, Confident Choice in second. Annual award now going into second place in the third bend. While Nodmack puts in a challenge, but he's cut off. Still out front, Anamore Billy in front. By two and a half lengths off the final bend from Confident Choice in second. Annual award racing on in third, but it's Anamore Billy holds on there to finish from number five, Confident Choice. A good run from him despite his injury problem. The result of the second semi-final, the winner, Anamore Billy at three to one, owned by Dennis Buckley, second Confident Choice, and third, annual award, the time 28.40. The draw for the final in one annual award, two Mustang Bertie, three Confident Choice, 
In four, we have Anamore Billy, five Borna Dasher, and the favourite Mustang Buster runs in the stripes. I'd prefer him a little bit further out, maybe. He's a railer, but he breaks and runs better the corner, maybe from a little bit further out, but it is well to be in any trap in the final. Maybe it's my third final, I think, third time lucky. Uh, Bertie's been a surprise package for us. He's been, we didn't expect much. He came back from England and, you know, he, he hadn't been doing too well over there and he came back and he just came into the Lyles and done really well. And uh, if he could break, he's probably as fast as Buster, but he just hasn't been breaking. And if he could throw a good one in the final, he'd have a squeak, you know, but if he doesn't pull it off, he's got Buster will. And it's just great to be in the final, you know, two Lyles finalists and my first few months training, I'm just delighted to be here. You'd never know. I mean, it'll all come down to whoever's lucky on the night. And we're happy to have him in the final. Well enough drawn, it wasn't three. Usually the dogs in the middle come away best. So we'll be hoping for a bit of that the next night. Now, you know yourself? <laughs> I'd prefer six, but uh, we'll just have to do it, you know. I suppose we'll be more hopeful than confident, really. He has a slight knee injury, but a week should make a big difference. So we'll take a chance, see how it goes. Who made that draw? <laughs> I'd have preferred trap three or four, but I'm glad to be in the final anyway. I just hope he can break a bit better now and get a clear run. Oh, I'm delighted with the draw. Uh, I think he's, if he does, keeps doing what he's doing, I think he's, uh, he's going to take all the beating as far as I can see. He's probably three lengths faster at halfway. He's a bit lacking in stamina coming home, but well, I hope for Stephen's sake that um, either one of them will do the trick. Bookmaker Diamond Coffee gives us his odds for the final. In trap one is Daniel Laward, he's uh, seven to one. He's perfectly drawn in the rails, but um, I think he's going to need trouble outside him for him to win the race. In trap two is Mustang Bertie, he's the outsider of the field at 33 to one. Um, I think he's going to need a massive smash up front for him to be able to win the race. He, he doesn't start and doesn't stay, I, 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 I wouldn't fancy him at all. In trap three is Confident Choice. He's the outsider I'd fancy if I was going to have a bet on this. Um, I think he, he's, a, he's a big chance of him clearing the one and two down to the corner if he gets around. He might have a small chance of winning the race. He's 9-1. to one. In trap four is Anamore Billy. Um, he's 9-4. to four. I think he's very badly drawn inside the middle. I think he's going to struggle to get a run and um, he's going to have to fly out to win the race. In trap five is Borna Dasher. He's 10-1. to one. I wouldn't fancy him either. Um, he's not breaking at the moment. He doesn't stay that well and he's going to have to fly out to win the race. And in trap six is um, Mustang Buster. He's the favourite even money. I think he's perfectly drawn. Um, he's breaking every night. He's doing everything spot on for the for the whole for the whole Lars. He's the only dog who's unbeaten the whole of the Lars, and um, I think he's going to be very very hard to beat. Next week, the main attractions are the Tote Gold Collar at Harold's Cross and the final of the Co-op Superstores Irish Laurels at Curraheen Park in Cork. For further information on Irish Greyhound racing ownership and syndication visit our website at www.igb.ie or email us at admin at igb.ie.